Today's video was brought to you by Aniba.com. Aniba.com is a digital marketplace with over 20,000 digital products. And with an ever expanding library, it's the go to point for all your gaming needs. Check out is simple just add a selected game to your basket, select the payment method of the choice, whether that be Trustly or PayPal, etc. Be sure to enter the discount code BANG FOR BUCK to save yourself an extra 3% off your purchase. Once payment has been accepted, you can then confirm if the key is from the correct platform and the correct region. Copy your code. This code is a Steam key, so all you have to do is go to Games and then Product Activation, paste in your key, and then you'll add your new game to your library. Very simple. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be taking a look at some 3D Mark um, benchmarks, and I'm going to be using the RTX 3090 Ti. I specifically have the Asus Tough OC version. So I'm showing you now with um, MSI Afterburner. These are the settings I'm running. So when it comes to the core clock, I'm running 2175 megahertz and maximum power limit, which is 114. And I think the maximum power limit on this card, I think it's around 480. So um, there are better cards out there for sure, but this is what this card can do at the moment. Um, fan speed though, I've uh, locked it at 80. And uh, this is very comfortable to my ears. It's not distracting. Anything over 80 can start becoming quite intrusive. So 700 megahertz on the memory, um, which is kind of low end to be honest i've seen other cards do a thousand plus i don't know if i can get more out of the memory if i increase the voltage maybe but we'll have to see but this is what i've been able to stabilize so far and um, those are the settings i'm running so i'm going to get straight into it now and go with uh i think i'll go with time spy for the first test and uh i don't have to watch the demos or anything because I do own the full version so I'm going to go jump straight in and I'll present the scores at the end.
So the results are in and I was able to get 22,239 as a graphic score for Time Spy, which is actually a decent score. I'll be interested to see what other people are getting, but for now, um, I'm pretty impressed by that. When you look at my GPU temperature, um, I was getting around at the highest point of this benchmark around 61 to 62 degrees. So that's actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, time to move on to a different test. I think I'll move on to um, Port Royal next and uh, see how I get on with that. Okay guys, so the results are in. So I was able to score 15,031 on the graphics score. That is the only score available. And as you can see, the graphics score was fluctuating between 2145 to 2160 uh, megahertz, which is not too bad. Wasn't able to hold 2175, but that is to be expected, but a decent score nonetheless. Let's move on to something a little different like uh, Fire Strike Extreme.
but the results are in 27,605 for the graphics score. You do have physics score and combined score, but we're really focusing just on the uh, graphics score, which is pretty decent. Uh, be interested to see what other people with 390 CIs are getting as well. And um, I was holding 2175 megahertz for a little bit, and then it dropped down to 2160. So um, still pretty stable core clock throughout the whole test. Dropping down to 2145 at the lowest, so I'm pretty happy with that. The RTX 3090 Ti will quite consistently reach 2100 megahertz quite easily, and that's probably one of the best things about the card. Anyway, moving on now to the final test. And I think I will finish off with a time spike stream. And that's probably one of the more demanding tests in the suite. So the results are in 11,484 as the graphics score. Uh, it's not too bad. And um, estimated 200 FPS in Battlefield 5. That's kind of 3D Mark's kind of estimation based on their result, what you would get in an actual game. So that's pretty much it for the results, guys. Um, RTX Fragile 90 Ti overclocked. Um, the Asus Tough OC model specifically. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.